So. Mm -hmm. No one really understands how Eggleston influences them. Mm. I, think, I think he has one of the most complicated uh, approaches. I mean, certainly not formally he hasn't influenced you because you're working in entirely different uh, right. uh, film sizes and, right. and you know, speeds of operation. Um, but that whole concept of photographing democratically you know, that you've wrestled with, that he seems to have a, uh, a kind of mm, very tight grip on. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, and that you explored in that delightful video with uh, Walking with Misha. Uh, still life, no, uh, st I was going to say still life with Labradoodle. But the Democratic Labradoodle. The Democratic Labradoodle, right. Yeah, yeah, so if you go into the galleries, um, you'll, you'll see this picture, and you, uh, which was made 10 plus years ago. And then there's a much more recent little video I made where I revisited Eggleston's home and made this, this walk photographing sort of in the style of Eggleston, thinking about Eggleston, thinking about his influence. Um, and, and I guess this relate to this issue, I do, this issue of like, what do you hang the pictures on? What's the structure is, is the thing I'm always battling with. And so typology gives you this one structure, mm -hmm. but it's, for me, it's too rigid. And so, and then someone like Eggleston is without structure, apparently. It's just moving through the world, seeing, mm -hmm. which is a really innocent and wonderful thing. But somehow, for me, particularly now in the age of Flickr and all of that, I, I need more, or for myself, I need more. And lately, I've been trying to hang it, hang the pictures on these little stories, these little story arcs. Mm -hmm. But it really, uh, this is always the battle, is, and the game is finding how to bring the pictures together. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I liked about, about this photograph of Eggleston is a couple of things. A, he's not photographing. He's dealing with a completely different medium that mm -hmm. he's also very committed to, but um, music and sound. And the other is that you're, you've backed out of the room. Hmm. You're leaving the room. You know, you're, you're letting the master be in his own workspace and, you know, moving through the blue door and, and moving away. I don't know what was happening at that moment. That might have been just how you saw him. No, I mean, I'll tell you a funny story about this, uh, that, you know, so this is my big day. I actually meet this, this legend who I wanted to meet, and I get to spend the whole day with him. And it was dreamy, but I, so I wanted to take his picture. And so I, I moved this chair out onto this veranda and set it up. <laughs> and set up the camera, everything was focused so it could be done quickly. And he wouldn't go out there. You know, and, and uh, I don't know if it's, he didn't want to be portrayed as a southerner because it kind of looked southern out there. That was a loaded chair, yeah. I don't know if he didn't like it because it was too set up. Um, so I was forced to make this picture, which was an 8x10 camera, like doing it on the fly, things moving, him not stopping for me was really challenging. Mm -hmm. So it's consequently, it's this incredibly complicated picture, unlike what I would normally do. But it's mm -hmm. partly what I love about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it, but it also, to me, it, it represents this contest as well. Like, he's not coming to sit in my chair, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> well, he's, he, you know, he's, you're showing him with his shoulder up, you know, in mm -hmm. an almost defensive posture. Yeah. I mean, and he's sitting on a box of ammunition, for what it's worth. So it's <laughs> another loaded chair. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, <laughs> didn't he actually suggest to you? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just, no. It's, it's part of the Slade package. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think my father's here. I, I have him to thank for that. Yeah. Um, uh,